Well, I'm looking for the species, and I'm looking for the size, and looking if there's any the big branches coming off, because that's when you get beautiful, beautiful greens. Because the greens go both ways. Sizing up a long living tree is something that Gary McCandlish relishes. With a 40 year career working mainly as a millwright in the timber and sawmill industry in Nelson and Castlegar, BC, Gary's knowledge and fascination with wood has persisted and since 2008 has followed him into his retirement years. Working in his shop next to his home in Balfour, BC, Gary has been exploring the artistic qualities of working with a familiar product that fits nicely on his lathe. Wood that he turns, and turns, and turns into bowls. I've always liked wood. I've always worked with my hands, and I wanted to do something that it was relatively light to do. Creating a bowl is a multi-step process. The size and the species of the wood play a large part in the decision which piece is to be used. Well, the first part of the step is to get the wood <laughs> and to get it green. I have people that say, I've got an apple tree I've been saving for you for two years. I say, well, that's really fine. It's gonna make fine firewood for somebody because it's no good to me because it's all checked. One piece like this, I will get four bowls out of this. I try to get as much as I can out of the wood. Even if I'm a couple hours into a bowl and it's just not going to make it, it gets into the firewood pile. If it's firewood, it's firewood. This chunk of walnut starts off as a half round. After marking and measuring the circumference of the intended bowl, a portion of the outer layer of the bark is peeled away. Next, the wood is brought over to the bandsaw where material from the timber located on the outside circumference of the bowl is trimmed away. A face plate is attached to the base of the wood, making it ready to be mounted on the lathe, ready to be rough turned. This wood here, the walnut, is really nice. The sapwood is white and the heartwood is brown. That's what makes it a very interesting bowl. The people seem to really Really appreciate that. During the initial turning process, material is repeatedly removed, bits at a time. And slowly, the form of the bowl's basic shape appears. After turning the green wood, a wax emulsion is applied, and the bowl is placed in a paper bag for four to six months to let it dry, or four to six weeks in a kiln. After the drying process, the wood is turned for a final time. After a large amount of sanding, a carnauba wax is applied along with a food safe varnish before it's polished. If anyone tells me they can make a perfectly round bowl, I like to know what kind of drugs they're on because it just doesn't happen. Wood is always moving. And you notice when you look at some of the stuff that is drying, how much it distorts in the drying process. When I'm turning the bowl, I do the outside first, the finishing part. And I sand it before I even touch the inside because often when I turn the inside out, the bowl changes shape and it's next to impossible to sand the outside. And it just moves when it's in the lathe. The finished product finds its way to the shelf in the McCandlish showroom, ready for that special someone to take a shine to it and give it a life in a home that cherishes handmade items that are created to the turn. You have to have that patience and attention to detail. It really helps if you have a quality control supervisor who happens to be my wife. It came out really well, beautifully smooth. Like my ego is as big as, as any artist, I guess. And it took a long time for me to accept a criticism, but now when my product is in the showroom, it's very rare that there's something wrong with it. What well, makes me feel really good that someone appreciates my art. Someone appreciates the effort that I put into it. I think I'll, I'll keep turning wood until uh, it becomes physically too hard, but I, I think if I carry on, if the wood's too heavy, I'll have to hire someone <laughs> to move the wood here. Once I get it here, I've got hand trucks, I can get it in the shop, I gotta come along. Uh, yeah, I think I'll be at it for a long time.
If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.